So Starlink speed test in the middle of nowhere. No mobile service, no FWA. There's nothing for miles and miles and miles. Let's check it out. This is Taylor Park. Now we went up from the reservoir quite a bit uh, to get to a beautiful spot like this. There's beautiful spots all up in here uh, to camp at and it's very secluded. But uh, here's our campsite. And uh, there are friends over there. Very close friends. And one thing in particular you see here is the Gen 3 Starlink. You know, it's, it's definitely a game changer. And this year I realized it the most. I probably saw five or six people with uh, Starlinks just on the way out here camping. And also we used to camp at Fun Valley and I saw probably, you know, 20 folks or something. Um, anyway, complete game changer to be out here. I've joined a, f a few work calls. I'm on vacation. I didn't participate in the calls. Just joined to, to listen in to kind of keep uh, keep abreast of things so I wouldn't have to go back and feel like I was behind and, you know, listen to recordings and things like that. But there's our Starlink. And uh, what I've done is we want internet all the time. Of course, we have generators out here. This is what we call boondocking, if you guys aren't familiar with with camping or dry camping. So there's no power or anything out here, or water or anything like that. You bring everything in yourself and take everything out yourself. And uh, what I did, I just have a small generator. I mean, that's our, that's our generator for our RV, right? People are showering and things like that in there. This is the Starlink box. So you can see how little it is. You know, it's small, very small, compact. I can pack it uh, right in the front of the camper there in the little cargo area and then over here I just got your little cheap Predator I probably had this thing seven eight years 2000 uh, watt uh, inverter and that's what I run Starlink on and I think this thing has like a gallon but I can run this thing a day and a half on one fill up and that keeps the Starlink on and keeps us all connected to the world, you know, texting mom and making sure mom can call and talk to the kids and things like that. And you can see the, it's got an extension cord coming over here and then got Starlink, you know, got my little router in there and um, power supply and I just keep it in there. It's plugged in right there and then there's the cord. And there's Starlink. Okay, I am going to put a um, navigation pin here in the map that shows you where I'm at. We're going to do a Starlink test. Okay, here we go. You can see the last test that happened there. And uh, we are literally in the middle of nowhere. And this is just a game changer. You know, I mean, I'm on vacation. in the West, I see the but, tides changing, the political tides change. And I could work out here. I mean, if I had a couple screens uh, um, uh, for my Mac in my camper. But anyway, um, just one more time, I want to show you guys. Again, um, I'm displaying hopefully here on the uh, map where I'm located, I'm in the middle of nowhere, up in the mountains of Colorado, boondocking. <laughs>